Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to the inaugural full day genomics track as part of the AWS Healthcare and Life Sciences Virtual Symposium. My name is Brian Donnelly, and I'm the worldwide leader for diagnostics and genomics here at Amazon. And today I have the privilege of introducing a number of customers and partners who are gonna talk through how as a community, we're able to accelerate genomic discoveries on AWS. These customers and partners will include policy leaders, genomic instrument manufacturers, software solutions providers, and a number of labs who are leveraging AWS to accelerate genomics research, discover new therapeutic targets, and to make precision medicine a reality. Prior to introducing our speakers, I wanted to take a few minutes to introduce you to how AWS engages with the genomics community. I want to start off by acknowledging that this is the most exciting time in genomics history. With sequencing innovation and unprecedented data generation, converging with what is truly the golden age of machine learning, where we literally have at our fingertips capabilities that were the subject of science fiction just years ago. This convergence is enabling the community to discover new insights and push the boundaries from developing liquid biopsy tests that can detect cancer from a drop of blood to affordable gene therapies to treat serious conditions or using genomics to improve agricultural yields, make food healthier and help farmers adapt to climate change. And it's a particularly exciting time because amidst this convergence, there's still so much work to be done. Less than 1% of the global population has had their genome sequenced. Less than 0.01% of species on this planet have been fully characterized. Now, if you take a step back and think about 20 years of how Amazon has operated for customers, there are three things that have fueled this company. The first is an unusual customer obsession driving what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. The second is a broad sweeping commitment to invent and simplify on behalf of our customers. And the third is a long-term orientation and patience, a real willingness to be misunderstood for long periods of time so that we can do what's best for customers. And I think genomics may be the industry that most aligns to these three big ideas. Almost every event I participate in or customer I meet with has a complete focus on making genomics accessible and improving the utility of genomics for all humankind. Invention is the very cornerstone of this industry since the Human Genome Project. And we continue to see broad sweeping innovation from library prep methodologies to sequencing instrumentation to analysis solutions, all the way to how we share data and how we collaborate. And then of course, patience. We know this is a marathon, it's not a sprint. And I think it's fair to say that the level of investment and commitment in genomics from national governments, industry, and academia all demonstrate that we're willing to make long-term bets because we know that the genomics ecosystem has the power to change the world. As a genomics practice at AWS, we focus on working very close with our customers and partners to ensure we help accelerate the genomics revolution that's happening all around us. When it relates to what customers we obsess over and who we serve, it really spans the entire spectrum. Whether it's providers of life sciences tools in the genomic, proteomic, or any other omics space, that are enabling the next scientific breakthrough, software providers who are streamlining multi-omic analysis, governments or public health organizations focused on population genomics and using biobanks to improve genomic diversity, researchers in the drug discovery or academia space who are leveraging genomics to understand the drivers of disease and develop the next breakthrough therapies, or commercial labs innovating new solutions today to deliver on the promise of precision medicine. Speaking of terrific customers and partners, we have the pleasure of enjoying the largest network of genomics customers in the cloud, from industry giants to startups, from the largest population genomic initiatives to the smallest of academic medical centers and partners all across the world. And what's most exciting to us is that when you look at the mission or the vision of any of these institutions, we all share one common theme, and that's that we wanna use the power of genomics and increasingly multiomics to advance the human condition. Our team at AWS is incredibly inspired by our customers and partners, who are pushing the boundaries of what's possible. And we're excited to work here, enable you to do all the amazing things that you're working on. I'm often asked, why do genomics customers move to AWS? And what we're seeing is that customers adopt AWS because along with our partners, we can meaningfully speed time to insight, thanks to an unrivaled breadth of services. The real value of the cloud is that it enables you to innovate and experiment very quickly. And AWS offers a comprehensive set of services designed specifically for genomics customers, such as our F1 servers that are driving FPGA accelerated analysis with a Luminous Dragon platform. I recently met with a customer who wanted to launch a new test in the NICU PICU setting where speed to insight is everything. And by moving to AWS, they were able to reduce their time to analyze a genomic sample from 24 hours to 23 minutes, making that goal a reality. Although flexibility, scale, and innovation are where people start, 
they quickly realized that with AWS, we were able to ensure genomic data processing is cost effective without sacrificing our performance with the pay as you go and only for what you use model. This is especially useful in the genomics industry where analysis requirements are variable, bursty, and commissioning hardware to satisfy your peak demand will result in a very large CapEx expenditure and a whole lot of idle capacity and wasted money. Last but not least, customers enjoy the largest global footprint of technology infrastructure and access to over 50 open data sets for genomic analysis. One of the things that we're really proud of is the registry of open data on AWS. We currently host over 50 plus genomic data sets and that number is growing. And this enables customers to simply access and query this growing body of large reference data sets that I was mentioning earlier. This includes the NIH's SRA data set, the Broad's Nomad data set, the Cancer Genome Atlas, and many more. Most recently, we've added two key data sets, ClinVar for those looking for annotated clinical genomic variants at scale in the cloud, and we've added Unipro, a rich data set for those interested in proteomics. We believe that at its core, the registry of open data will be a force for good powering the open science flywheel by enabling anyone to access cloud optimized data sets for rapid analysis and integration into genomic pipelines without having to worry about egress and storage costs that have held back researchers in the past. Through AWS and our terrific network of partners, customers have the ability to leverage the benefits of the cloud across all major genomic workflows, whether it's getting data off of an instrument into your cloud storage, orchestrating secondary analysis, aggregating that data and governing who can see it, diving deeper into tertiary analysis with the option of deploying machine learning. This is all available to you on AWS. Additionally, the cloud's an excellent choice for clinical workflows. And of course, this is all built with industry leading security and compliance and the largest network of availability zones that enables you to adhere to any national or institutional data sovereignty requirements. DNA Nexus is our featured partner for the genomics track and their advanced genomic and multiomic platforms are built on top of AWS, providing a flexible bioinformatics cloud-based solution to navigate the complexity and scale of genome informatics. They serve customers across the pharma, clinical diagnostic, medical center, and government segments. And they have a variety of great products and services across the workflow, like Titan, which is their secondary analysis solution for next generation sequencing, and Apollo, which enables broad multiomic data exploration for drug discovery. These services enable organizations a cost-effective and efficient way to scale so that they can focus on what they love, and that's doing great science. In addition, it wasn't that long ago that the UK Biobank selected DNA Nexus as their partner to develop a cloud-based research analysis platform on AWS, bringing approved researchers from around the world and industry standard tools to the UK Biobank data for easy and cost-efficient access and analysis. And we're gonna hear more about this during a technical track presentation from their CTO. So today I'm gonna to introduce you to a number of amazing industry leaders, customers, and partners who will take you on a journey of how AWS is here to support the industry as we accelerate genomic research and drive the utility of genomics. You will certainly see some common themes. There will be many references to accelerating time to value with scalability, security, and machine learning capabilities that AWS customers have grown to love. With translation of genomics from a research heavy discipline into clinical applications, it's more important than ever to share genomic data and standardize around how we do that. I'm very excited that we'll be leading off our business track with a presentation from Peter Goodham, the CEO of ga for gh Peter will bring an industry-wide viewpoint on the importance of standardization in the era of cloud genomics and discuss the role ga for gh is playing in making that a reality. Next, we have an opportunity to hear from Susan Tusi, the Chief Product Officer of Illumina. Illumina and AWS have a deep history of innovation and collaboration, and I'm thrilled she'll be joining us. Susan's gonna be discussing Illumina's bioinformatics and data science platforms, and how Illumina builds on AWS to enable a scalable and secure software stack across their entire portfolio to meet the needs of their global customer base. Population genomic data sets are key to advancing our understanding of the drivers of health and illness. I'm happy to welcome Peter Sinden, the Chief Information Officer of Genomics England. He'll be highlighting how working with an innovative technology company and AWS partner, LifeBit, Jill was able to quickly stand up a COVID-19 research environment on AWS. The team was able to pull 35,000 genomes from NHS patients with COVID-19 and make that data available to global biopharmaceutical and academic researchers, ultimately playing a key role in their response to COVID-19 in the UK and across the globe. Machine learning is a really powerful tool in genomics, and we continue to see our customers lead the way in applying this technology to accelerate discoveries. One field that is especially interesting is infectious disease. I'm excited to welcome Dr. Arnie Materna, the CEO of Aris Genetics, 
Arnie is going to review how Iris Genetics deploys machine learning as part of a validated laboratory workflow to bridge the limitations of microbial genomic sequencing when diagnosing antimicrobial resistance and ultimately enabling actionable infectious disease testing and surveillance. Another great application of machine learning is in the field of complex diseases. And I'm really excited to welcome Dr. Dennis Bauer, group lead from CSIRO, which is Australia's national science agency. CSIRO is a world leader in innovation and discovery, and in fact, is well known for inventing Wi-Fi among a host of other scientific discoveries. Today, Dennis will speak on how the group uses Variant Spark, which is their novel machine learning framework, which is capable of processing a trillion data points from large cohort whole genome sequencing and onto a server, which is a fire native terminology server that is licensed by over 75 healthcare organizations globally to enable cloud native health research. Dennis will specifically highlight how using machine learning, they're able to identify novel disease genes for complex diseases. We're gonna close out our business track moving into multi-omics. When put into context, the data storage and computational needs of a single oncology patient undergoing cancer whole exome sequencing is 100 times greater than the data storage and computational needs of the Apollo 11 moon landing. I'm excited to introduce Tom Shainer, the Chief Commercial Officer of Amber Genetics. He's going to be discussing how they're developing a highly innovative, integrated data platform that combines multi-omics with other clinical data sets like pathology and radiology to uncover new clinically relevant biomarkers and usher in the next generation of diagnostic tests. In addition to the business track, we have a tremendous technical track lined up where we're going to go even deeper into how leaders like BC Cancer, the Broad Institute, Mission Bio, Variant Bio, and DNA Nexus are building innovative solutions to accelerate scientific breakthroughs across the globe. Easy access to large scale cohorts of genomic imaging and linked health data is critical to advanced precision medicine and has largely remained a dream for many researchers. We're gonna kick off the technical track with a presentation from Dr. George Asinimus, the Chief Technology Officer of DNA Nexus. DNA Nexus is a long-standing partner of AWS and continues to push the envelope in bringing genomics into the clinical space. George is going to discuss how he and the team are making that dream of large-scale linked data sets a reality by building the UK Biobank research analysis platform on top of AWS, enabling large-scale data availability to biopharma and research organizations across the globe. There's a ton of innovation in this platform, from frameworks for permissions and data pseudonymization, its capabilities for visual and analytical exploration, and a very vibrant developer and scientific community. I'm sure you're going to enjoy the presentation. AWS takes open data very seriously, and we have a long-standing commitment to make open data sets, such as Broad's Nomad data set, available on the AWS Open Data Registry, free for any researcher to access. In this technical talk, Grace Tiao of the Broad Institute and Aaron Chu from our AWS Open Data team will discuss the value, impact, and accessibility of genomics data on the AWS cloud. Grace is then going to discuss the production and the impact of Nomad and dive deep into the Broad's leveraging of scalable computing to process and disseminate this one-of-a-kind resource. Continuing on the theme of open data, I'm very pleased to introduce Dr. Artem Babayan, who is a computational biologist at BC Cancer. Artem is going to discuss how he and the team at BC Cancer were able to access the NIH's SRA dataset hosted on the registry of open data on AWS and discover more novel RNA viruses in 11 days that had been discovered in the prior 130 years. He and the team systematically analyzed 4.7 million data sets, over 10 petabases of data to identify all RNA viruses, increasing the total number of known RNA viruses by an order of magnitude. This included novel coronavirus from some unexpected hosts. AWS is proud to work with life sciences tools companies across the omics continuum, and I'm sure most who are viewing the symposium know, single cell genomics promises to provide a much more granular look at the function of individual cells. What you might not know is that Mission Bio's tapestry platform for single cell genomic analysis generates an order of magnitude more data than traditional next generation sequencing. So pulling on that theme of innovation, I'm happy to welcome Naranjan Visa, who is the Director of Software Engineering at Mission Bio. Naranjan will discuss how Mission Bio is leading the resolution revolution with their tapestry platform and how their data analysis application built on AWS ensures timely and cost-effective analysis of the troves of data they are generating it as they routinely analyze thousands of genomes. An area that our community continues to make strides in and focus on is improving genomic diversity with data from underrepresented populations. Our final presentation is from Dr. Anne Katrin MD. She's the Associate Director of Bioinformatics at Variant Bio, and Anne Katrin will discuss how Variant Bio is identifying novel therapeutic targets with an innovative mid pass whole genome sequencing method and a genomic discovery pipeline that is fully cloud based using a variety of AWS services. This combination enables Variant Bio to make 
promising discoveries today that will be foundational for tomorrow's therapeutics. As you see, we've got a really great lineup of speakers, including industry leaders, partners, and customers who are accelerating genomic discoveries. It's an absolute privilege for the team at AWS to work with you all, to be your trusted technology partner, and we will continue to obsess over you as a customer, invent with you, and be a partner focused on the long-term goals of the industry that are accelerating your efforts with the power of cloud computing in AWS. We're truly inspired by what you're doing to make the world a better place. So with that, please enjoy these great presentations. And if you want to learn more about AWS Genomics, please visit our updated website, which includes a new executive brief highlighting the value of genomics in AWS. Thank you all.